I wanted to give it a watch, see if this is a good video, so... Let's see. Let's see what this video is about. The tech on male gamers continues. Continues. Apparently, like, and this is toxic. Apparently, I don't, I don't know. Just, I don't know. In my opinion, I think that, I don't know, there's something a little bit childlike about it, a grown man to be playing games, and it is a huge, huge turn off for me, and I'm bloody glad my man doesn't play video Shane, games. I don't know. Oh. oh, oh, I'm so glad my husband doesn't enjoy himself. Oh my god, great start, great start indeed, huge start. I don't have anything meaningful to say about this, I just want to tell her to shut up. Literally, like... Shut up. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sydney. Welcome back Hi, to Sydney. Hell. And as per usual, before we launch in, today's video is sponsored by Manukora. And of course, oh, by my that? company, Lions Tea Exchange. In addition to my regular wonderful flavors, I oh, now have three new limited edition flavors that are now available on the site for pre-sale. I think they're all really good, but I am a huge fan of the peppermint white chocolate, but you guys seem to be really excited about the bourbon barrel try. No surprises there. I Ooh. also have Ooh, that does sound good. Gift boxes that Micro are the tea. Mats twist his balls. Level two for pre-sale for the holiday season, or just generally if you so want a beautiful box. Uh, and as you guys That's know, sick. these are made here in the US of A, and the company that I work with plants a tree for every order placed, which honestly I think is pretty cool. I will link all of this in the description box if you would like to support my channel and my tea company. It all means a lot, and I love you guys very much. Okay, back to the video. Now, I know I'm slightly late to this conversation because it took place a couple weeks ago, but a lot of things were also happening during that time. Like like the mystery of who is eating the cats. They're eating. They're eating the cats. Chat, do you think they're eating the cats? Do you think the Haitians are eating the uh, cats? <laughs> ah! The dogs, the people that came in, they're eating the cats. And I needed to show you all my breakdancing prowess, okay? Hey, yo! Yeah, she's busting it down! Now, like I said, a few weeks ago, the conversation- Is Trump still banned on Twitch? No, he's got an unbanned quite a- quite some time ago. ...or the debate, if you will, around men playing video games being unattractive was once again resurrected. This has been going on for quite some time, but periodically- Oh yeah, wasn't there some discourse to it? I'm- for some reason- I'm right to it too. <laughs> ...brings it back up. And every time this happens, it seems that people want to congregate around the idea that men playing video games is bad and gaming is bad overall. Say the people who- When I was growing up, it was always the notion of video games are for uh, boys slash men and women should clean the kitchen. <laughs> Some fucking shit, man. Uh. Do, like crocheting or something. Depressingly, when I started looking for videos on this issue, I actually came New ick unlock watching my boyfriend play games. You know what's my ick? Women having an ick. Across this bizarre trend on TikTok where women say that their men being happy while playing games gives them the ick. So there's that. Shut I just... Chat, if you enjoy video games, try to find yourself a partner that enjoys video games too. It's just gonna make life easier. I know it should just be normalized and people shouldn't fucking judge anyone for whatever the fuck they do with a hobby if it harms no one. But unfortunately, unfortunately, we live in 2024 and people get offended about X and Y and Z. Up, kill yourself. Just launch me to Jupiter at this point. Anyway, this time the conversation started when conservative commentator Liz Wheeler posted a graph of the hobbies women reportedly find the least attractive. Oh yeah, that was going on. This is 100% true. Man playing video games is peak unattractive. Beyond red flag. Like deal breaker zone. 
bro. It's weird that so many dudes don't get this. Bro! She did, like, bro! She quadrupled down on this. Oh my god, I thought this was a troll post? Nah. Nah, this ain't troll. This is real. Climb video games. 90. Like, a 90 on what? Like, 90 on what? 90 women found it unattractive? It's 90% unattractive? 90 what? <laughs> what do the numbers mean? <laughs> what do they mean? 90% I don't know! What do the numbers mean? I don't understand. Attractive. At the top of the list was playing video games, followed by collecting figurines. Oh, unattractiveness score! <laughs> That's an unattractiveness score chat. So, oh, if you play video games, 90. You got a 90 on the un unattractiveness score. Chat, who here likes video games? <laughs> Raise your hands, chat. Raise your hands. Do you like video games? <laughs> Type in one! Type in one if you ever played a video game. <laughs> Type one in the chat if you ever played a video game. I wanna see all the ones! All of you are unattractive! <laughs> all of you are unattractive! <laughs> You're... Ugly, in fact. <laughs> Knew it, we know. No! <laughs> Currently playing Fallout 4. How dare you! My main hobby is worse though. I have a pet tarantula. Bruh! Collecting figurines is so fucking unattractive. Bird watching is only on a 50. <laughs> Comic book collecting. Taxidermy. What the hell is taxidermy, chat? I don't know what that word means. Taxidermy meaning. The craft of preparing the skins of dead animals and birds and... Huh? <laughs> 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 Why is that even on here? <laughs> so we have... We have your casual um, hobbies right here. Your casual male hobbies chat. We got playing video games. We got collective figurines. We got comic book collections. And we got stuffing dead animals. Yeah. Seems a bit right. <laughs> Long side bird watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro! Means magic tricks and online trolling. But apparently, we all love a good bird watcher. So that that's a win for the birdophiles. I have only a fifty. Birdophiles. <laughs> but only a fifty. It's only on a fifty. So like, you're still, you're still not that attractive. You're still not that attractive. Absolutely no idea what bird enthusiasts are called. Birder. Well, at least that's memorable. I guess that's an improvement on what the train people are called. Hooty tooters? Hooter, hooter tooters? This graph, which obviously is not based on real evidence, was posted yeah, on the Wheeler's commentary, which read, This Source? is 100% true. Men playing video games is peak unattractive, Two. beyond red flag. Three. Like, deal breaker zone. Four. It's weird so many dudes don't get this. Five. You want to know what I don't get? Why it's taken me so long to hear about the wonderful sponsor of today's video, Manukora. I have spent Double sponsor? Is that even a lie? Most of my adult life in search of sugar. I'm kind of sugar. like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. Sugar, my precious. About it. 
precious. And the more I get, the more that I realize sugar's not that good for you. But what oh, if really I told isn't. you there was a oh, really alternative isn't. that tasted good and was good for you? Well, there <gasps> is, and it's called Manukora. I should have jumped in and be like, and there it is, it's called Gamer Subs. <laughs> Manuka honey right, I'll is shut up, pure I'll shut up. single origin manuka honey found only in New Zealand. Manuka? It's rich, creamy, and supercharged with unique I love antioxidants honey, and prebiotics. Honey is so good. It actually has three times more oh, than your average. Bro, that actually just looks like um liquid gold. Wow. Honey. So yeah, take that normal honey. Manukora honey supports immunity, helps with digestion, <laughs> boosts energy, and is great for assisting I want to with eat inflammation. That it's also this beautiful golden color, and it's a definite game changer if you're anything like me and use honey in tea or on sandwiches. I also like how my Sandwich. little starter pack has this cute little spoon and these. Oh, honey it comes sticks, with it. That's so adorable. Cool if you're munching on the go, best of. Like, are you just munching honey on the go? What? What? How? Well, Manukora honey has a natural antibacterial compound called MGO oh, like, that is only on a found in Manuka some... okay. honey. The higher mind? the MGO count, the higher the levels of nutrients and antioxidants. And Manukora has some of the honey highest very MGO honey on the very market. Very healthy. And if you don't believe me, your Manukora lid has this little QR code that you can scan to trace your honey and all its unique information, which I think is pretty cool. So if you too want to embrace a good sweet thing, then click the link in the description or head over to manukora.com slash sydney i never leave home without my tactical honey <laughs> dude 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 that just reminded me of one thing a um she wasn't really an employee more like a supervisor has told me which was one of the most german and berlin things a woman could have ever said like it was the most woman berlin thing or most woman german thing <laughs> that she never leaves her house with out a bottle of muggy gewürz <laughs> what is that you may ask well i am downloading an image of it as we speak so i can show it to you Bitch by Sean. Yeah, danke. Never, as a German, especially as a German woman, you never leave your house without one of those bad boys. You need those bad boys, chat. This, this, this is the shit. <laughs> Oops. I do it with Nutella. <laughs> Tactical Nutella. You may have tactical honey, you may have tactical Nutella, but I have technical muggy Würze. Can any Germans in chat confirm this? All Germans can confirm this. Is that soup flavoring? It's kind of? It's. <laughs> it's German <laughs> soy sauce? It's not soy sauce, but it's like the equivalent of soy sauce. <laughs> kind of. It's good. And you know how good it is? It's so good that I'm gonna put it on my head. And it's gonna stay here for the rest of the video. <laughs> for $25 off when you buy a starter kit. After a huge amount of pushback, Wheeler Free followed up with a few yes. additional posts, including another tweet where a woman wrote, Women don't dislike video games because they're geeky. What does it we taste like? It's salty, but it has a tiny, like, hint of sweetness. It's very good. Okay, but why? Because it's amazing. I want to put that bottle... No. Punt that bottle. <laughs> don't punt the bottle! Dislike them because they're like social and consumption based. Like if a woman said TikTok or online shopping was her hobby. Huh? 
back, Wheeler followed up with a few additional posts, including another tweet where a woman wrote, Women don't dislike video games because they're geeky. We dislike them because they're antisocial and consumption-based. Like if a woman said TikTok or online shopping was her hobby. Hobby should include actually doing, making, or learning something. Okay, I guess when you're playing video games, you're not doing anything. Ha! Ha! That's crazy. Learning? Um, no. Puzzle solving in video games? Eh, uh, eh, uh, I'm not using my brain at all. And you need to obviously, like, make something. You need to create something, something, like, crafty. Um, that one I don't have a point for. I, I don't have a point for. Apparently you need to craft something. There's nothing like that really in video games itself for crafting things, like that you have like something physical then. But you don't need it! It's like not a must-have, like question mark. Also, socializing. Socializing. Hello? MMOs? How the hell? Are video games anti-social? I'm just like... Like... Uh, uh, video games are anti-social chat. Ignorant women. Women! Women! Uh, last time I checked, gaming is doing something? What is this? What am I even reading nah. here? Doubling down even further, oh my God. also wrote that video games are sedentary, consumptive, fantasy steeped in immorality that have serious negative real-world side effects on the men who play them. Huh? 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 <laughs> Source? <laughs> this tweet was very long, so I'm just going to summarize the generality of it, which was that video games are a net negative on society based on the fact that they reportedly lead to aggressive behavior, desensitization to violence, which was anxiety, debunked. mood disorders, and so on and so forth. She also asserts that women are attracted to men based on a man's ability to protect, provide, produce, and procreate. Hobbies that illustrate that ability are attractive to women. I'm not gonna lie, like, someone who can tell, um, someone in League of Legends to, uh, you know, kiss themselves in Danish, if you know, you know, uh, I, I, I think he can protect me pretty well. <laughs> I think that dude can protect me pretty well. I think that's, that's pure peak masculinity. <laughs> Hobbies that do not are not not to be a jerk at least not intentionally but also i'm 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 not just i'm gonna just add i met exigon because here my boyfriend that that's who exigon is in league of legends i met him for league of legends <laughs> so isn't reading sedentary and isn't buying oh. random female crap for your house consumptive do you want to go and have a conversation with the no. immoral smut reading ladies over on book talk <laughs> Would you like to have a word? I really don't mean to be so sarcastic about all of- Her muck is so huge, what the hell? This it just really irritates me. Of course, the icing on the cake here is the entire live stream that Wheeler decided to make about this topic, addressing the blowback that she'd received and saying that lots of people were unkind to her about it and she didn't like that, which honestly, like, yeah, fair enough. This video is really long and she burned through a lot of points very quickly and we don't have time to unpack them, but I overall felt really irritated watching Wheeler's live stream. And my takeaway was just generally, tell me you've never played video games without telling me you've never played video games. Yeah, she is. again brought up that it makes people more desensitized and prone to violence because apparently we're- I think desensitizing would be a good thing. In itself, I think desensitizing is a good thing. Um, in the way so that you're more used to. Uh, uh, how do I phrase this? Oh my god. How do I phrase this to not sound dumb? <laughs> English! If you're desensitized to shit, you don't get offended as quickly. 
Tammy, you have been embraced by 2014 media without telling me literally. A healthy level of desensitization makes you able to appreciate jokes. True, 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 true. Sticker skin, yes. Being too much pussy isn't good. True. True. Resurrecting 90s talking points. I don't know. I just... I thought we were over this. Look, I don't know Liz personally, and so I don't want anyone to perceive this as me attacking her because she seems like a nice lady. But I do find her opinion and this extended opinion really frustrating. I think it there's is. a trend on the right side of politics where some conservatives in particular like to fully reject and stomp on really important cultural and entertainment-based mediums. And even if the intention behind that is a no one, I still think it comes across as really controlling and fun policing. Listen, even people with daddy issues don't want to be parented this hard. I mean, they do want something hard. It's not parenting. <laughs> All of this to say, in the long run, I don't think it's very helpful. And I'm sure some of you will disagree with that, and that's okay. Feel free to scream at me in the comments. No! No! Anyway, no! about a week later, another video popped up where a woman called Bex from the radio show 102 Philly was similarly articulating why she doesn't like men playing video games. She said that it was lazy and generally unproductive. But the whole gaming thing... <sighs> what? Wow. It's a hobby. Does a hobby need to be productive? Does a hobby really need to be productive, first of all? Like... Uh, <laughs> What's the problem? Jacqueline has this big problem, too. It, it, because... It's just lazy. It feels un... Like, unless you're getting paid... And there's Who a lot. Cares? Right? Like, it's cool if you want to do it every so often. But to me, I'm like... Go educate. Like, go do something productive. Yeah, I'm sure she's non-stop, like, just learning things. I'm sure. <laughs> but what is the problem? Like, you know, Jacqueline has a big problem with it, too. Whenever she hears the PlayStation start up, like, oh, I gotta hear the go. huffing and puffing. Yeah. But if, we were to, if I were to just have TV on, you'd be on TikTok as it is, because not paying it's, attention. It's not that, so why does it bother you? Because, it, because it's not the distraction of me being on TikTok and us watching TV. It's what you could be doing with that time. There it is, and that's what I knew it. It's I knew what it. you could. You, wanna, you women want to task us <laughs> no, so no, no, bad no, 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 no. that you're so pissed no, no, that we're taking no, time no. from doing something. No. Wait a minute, you're enjoying things? You have time to do this but video see, game? Here's the thing oh, is, here's all the things you could be doing. here's the thing, you're enjoying it, but you could also be planning something nice for us. You know, like... <laughs> I, uh... Bro, I'm speechless. I am so speechless. <laughs> like I mentioned, this is not the first time that this type of criticism- I am! You could be planning something in your free time! For us! You could be doing something else in your free time! Stop having fun, do something for me instead! Literally! Me, 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 me! Holy entitlement! Holy entitlement! Might as well go betcher her every time she's on TikTok. Oh my god! Bro. Oh, what if I plan while I play games? Has she ever thought of that, lol? <laughs> Multitasking, but man can't multitask. Man can't multitask, bro. Man cannot multitask, so you wouldn't be able to do that. ...has come up. Obviously. A couple years ago, three more women got a lot of heat online for making fun of men who game, with one of the women even suggesting there's a correlation between gaming and the being bad in the bedroom or... <sighs> If you 
play video games. You're bad, I'm bad. No reverse that statement. I <sighs> Humanity is a disappointment. <laughs> Humanity is disappointing. <laughs> having having small male genitalia. I'll be honest. Oh, not only are they bad and bad, they also have small pee pee. <laughs> they also have a small pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Small baby. <laughs> with you, not if I think of the top ten. Top <laughs> ten. Best dicks I've ever had. They didn't play video games, so I'm convinced video games are for mediocre. Well, dicks. I grew up as a gamer, so it was I okay with it. That was that was I quite just, a, I quite all right with me. But I, I got excited too. I don't know too. what grown man is spending that much time playing video There's games. There's a lot of really, grown men spending a lot of time. And on I don't this think bullshit. that there's the, a lot. I don't I don't think that you could be a great partner or a great lover no, as a grown I, man. I, you play video games, you ain't a great lover or a great husband or a great partner. Like, no. No, if you play video games, you you basically you, you suck. Spending time playing video games, you're like, ah, uh, this is such a weird statement. Do you always judge the appropriateness of a hobby based on man pickles and their performance? Is this Obviously. a legitimate metric? Why are people like this? I mean it. Put me in the cannon and launch me to Jupiter. So I have a very vested interest in this topic, both as a woman and as a person who plays video games. So I do feel that it is pretty important to come to the defense of male gamers, and I guess just really any gamer in general. Agreed. Because if Agreed. the criticisms that I've so far highlighted in this video are anything to go by, I think people's perceptions of this industry and those who enjoy games are completely off base. And I think it's generally generally wild to say that gaming is not a hobby, and if it is, it's one that's overall unattractive to women. Because I would argue, in that's so many, dumb. many cases, that is not true. I mean, first and foremost, the gaming industry- I'm fully convinced good men just avoid these women in general. Good. Good. As they should. As they should. <laughs> Oh, is that also why all these women are like, only assholes like me? As a whole, has changed dramatically over the last few decades. And video games have accelerated in scale and quality during that time too. Rather than games appealing to a small portion of people, now anyone anywhere can play them, which is why the industry has become so enormous. There are so many different stories being told, so many yep. different ideas being- There's so many different games, man! Like, bro, from RPGs to shooters to, uh, to fucking farming simulators like Stardew Valley! Bro, some people just do want to mind their own fucking business on Stardew Valley! They just want to have a farm and take care of plants and animals! But bro, that means you got a small dick! <laughs> explored and let's remember importantly that the amount of women playing games has also grown more and more and is continuing to do so and no, I Animal Crossing and the sims don't count as gaming please stop this point being video well, games i like animal crossing i do play occasionally rarely like i always have like a time of animal crossing where i like, go f like full in Hyper focus on Animal Crossing and don't do anything else. Just like with uh, Stardew Valley. Like, <laughs> and everything else is abandoned. Hygiene is abandoned. Food is abandoned. Social interactions are abandoned. I just farm. <laughs> 
games themselves and the gamers who play them come in all forms, and I don't think it's fair to tar everyone with the same brush. With that said, I do understand why some people, some being the operative word, find gaming to be an unattractive hobby, and I think there's a number of reasons for that. Number one, mm -hmm. when most of us millennials were growing up, which is what our friend Liz Wheeler is, we were only really then starting to see sort of a shift in the way that people viewed men and video games. Until this point, I think it's fair to say that gamers were largely associated with the basement-dwelling dorks who played World of Warcraft from dawn until- <laughs> There it is! World of Warcraft! All things lead back to Blizzard! <laughs> till dusk. And whether that view is true or not, whether it's fair or not, that's what was portrayed predominantly in media, entertainment, and by all the kids, all those boys that we went to high school with. I can actually testify to this because I fully remember my older brother sitting in the office all day <laughs> playing WoW. And, and hey. sometimes painting Warhammer. I think he still paints <laughs> Warhammer. To be completely fair to my That's brother, cool, because, you know, he will probably watch this video, uh, he is in fact the reason why I like gaming at all. And hey. I also remember sitting next to him, watching him play Spyro, because <laughs> little sister. Hey, I played Spyro too. Now that I'm thinking about it, I also remember his LAN parties with his nerd friends. So really, really love aging myself there. Anyway, this type of visual and this messaging has definitely been ingrained in a lot of us because it's also what we were exposed to in pop culture. And it's probably why a bunch of elder millennials and people who are older than elder millennials, especially view gamers through this lens. Actually, hilariously, when I was researching for this video, I found what? out that the attractiveness of male gamers <sighs> and how much they game is still being studied because I guess this is a stereotype that never dies. The second Whoa. reason, and I think this is more applicable across the board, is it is unattractive to come home to your man sitting on his butt all day playing video games. On the weekends, gaming. All day, gaming. Every single weekend, gaming. Can't pull himself away for long enough to spend time with you, or to be a father or a husband or- Just to be fair, yes, if he only games and do does nothing else, yes! Sure. Sure, yes, yes, absolutely. If he only games and does absolutely fucking nothing else. Yeah. But there's a limit. Exactly. That is not limited to gaming, first of all. And there is a limit. If a person can limit themselves and also do their tasks as a husband, as a father, spend time with their partner, with their children, if they are children, take care of other children, maybe. Who the fuck knows? Why? Bother. Why do you get annoyed? Like, bro, even, even if he's gaming every day, even if he's gaming every day, as long as it's like not non-stop and still like spends time with you, like in this theoretical scenario with you as your, the partner, where is the issue? Where's the issue? Bro, where the fuck is the issue? Not just game first, maintain a healthy cycle. Gaming, gooning, napping. Exactly! Exactly. You got it. You got it. Or whatever. When it becomes an addiction that consumes you, yes. That is a problem, and that is unattractive. And this is the primary criticism that I find online when it comes to men and video games. When my husband and I first got married, he was addicted to video games. So if your spouse is addicted to video games or sports or anything, oh, no. listen to this. But the thing oh, no. is, if your man or a man doesn't have a gaming addiction, then what precisely is unattractive about this interest? And you got your gamer subs? Yo, nice! Thanks for the code. You're welcome. Thanks for using the code. Thank you. At least in my experience, the women that I have come into contact with or that I'm friends with or that are in my family and whatever, don't really view a man's interest in video games as a good or bad thing. What's most important is how he balances his gaming with his life and its yeah. many obligations. That For is example, back in 2020, a TikToker called Alyssa Nguyen actually had to come out and clarify that her gamer husband did indeed take care of her and her kids after she began uploading compilations of her bringing him his nightly dinners. She wrote, he does all his chores, daddy duties, 
and husband duties before getting on. One person even asked Where Ewan people... if she was happy with the amount of time her husband gained. Ewan responded, it doesn't bother me at all. Bro, how, how fucking parasocial are the commenters? Holy shit. This is actually peak parasocialism, man. They don't know how much the guy actually spends playing video game. They see, like, a 30-second clip. They see a snippet of it. They see, like, 30-second clips out of 24 hours out of the day. Like, oh my god. He plays a couple hours a night after he gets home from a long shift. And honestly, I think this comment crystallizes a broader point. A lot of people, not only men, use video games as a way to alleviate anxiety, to decompress, yeah! to de-stress after a long day or a long week or whatever the case may be. And I can actually personally relate to this, and I've actually said this in other videos, where I find nothing more enjoyable after a particularly stressful day than jumping into whatever game I'm playing and just, like, hacking monsters to death. Be Bro, I was literally... Forcing myself to dissociate from the entire fucking world around me and just play a video game so I could just Like let go of all the fucking stress around me, right? Because I haven't been playing a lot of games recently You guys know that I've been kind of stuck in the entire hole of just chatting. I don't know how it got here I don't know how we got here. I don't know who I am and or what I am, but Moving on so I kind of stopped playing video games just because I just didn't feel like it anymore. And yesterday I just, I just needed to fucking distract myself. And I was like, fine, I'm booting up Elden Ring. I got the DLC to play through. And I did it and I played for like five hours straight and I laughed it and I beat Mesmer and I beat that stupid proficient suck ass knight and I beat his mom to death. And then I got beaten some more from all the other NPCs. And I had a great time, and I was awake till 6 a.m. in the fucking morning. Wait, that means I, I, I played longer than five hours. I probably played seven hours of Elden Ring yesterday. Let's fucking go. Because it's cathartic. And it stops me from committing murder. That is a yeah. joke, Mr. FBI man. I am making a joke. Jokes aside, in addition to being cathartic, it is a good form of escapism. I watched one particular TikTok where a Yeah, guy escapism. That's the word I was looking for. It is an amazing form of escapism. Escapism 100 yesterday was describing escapism in video games as a bad thing, using it as it's an a indicator good thing. of depression or a person who hates- I feel called out. Now I feel called out. Bitch, fuck you! It's their life, <laughs> and that very well might be the case sometimes. This just reiterates that men yearn for the minds. But again, why do people frown on this type of escapism, but not when it comes in the form of books or films or television True. shows? I genuinely- And... Bro. If we compare a TV show to a video game, like, the hobby of watching TV shows and the hobby of playing video games, you actually gotta use your fucking brain if you play video games. Most of the time anyway. Most of the time anyway. But I digress. I feel like there's such an unfair double standard when it comes to gaming that isn't equally applied to other entertainment mediums. Yeah, I'm gonna need you all to stop that. In my opinion, the bottom line here is that gaming is, in fact, a legitimate hobby. And it I is. argue till I am blue in the face with whoever I need to argue with that many of us ladies would much rather a guy who games in moderation than one who is down at the bar or at the club every single weekend getting drunk. If 100%. 100%. I'd rather... <laughs> Like, I'll go- I'll go one step f uh, further. I'd rather have someone be addicted to video games than to fucking uh, alcohol or drugs. Like, bruh. Nah. If you are a man and you enjoy video games- Chat. Why is that a controller? And there's League of Legends. Chat. Who made this? <laughs> Chat! Why? 
Is there a controller shown with League of Legends gameplay? What the fuck? So aim booting. Every single weekend getting drunk. If you are a man and you enjoy video games, that does not- Bro! He's actually gaming! No! Chat! He's actually playing with the controller! You can buy the Steam controller to Dota, if I recall correctly. I know, for example, that Boxbox uh, played with the controller before. But this guy's also actually playing with the controller. Like, look at the way the cursor's moving. Holy shit! Not make you unattractive. And frankly, it can actually be a Holy. really nice opportunity for bonding with your spouse or girlfriend. And I say this as someone who freaking- He's cooking, actually! Like, bro, you need at least three brain cells to- Get this one figured out. Fucking loves couch co-ops. Like I recently played the Untitled Goose game, and it was oh my god, I love the game so much. A lot of fun. I have to. Stay I love that game so much. Platformers though, because I uh, I just let everyone down. <laughs> People who make the claim that gaming is antisocial and will turn men into murder factories, genuinely. Bro, I dare you. <laughs> I dare you to play fucking party game. Video games, man. Go on, then. Oh my god, you're gonna turn into. In all honesty, just to be fair, I think a few people would wanna murder some other people when playing <laughs> Mario Kart. People don't seem to understand the nature of gaming and how community-based and collaborative it often is these days. A lot of modern games have a ton of multiplayer features, and it allows you to do, yeah. like, you know, the teamwork. In a time yeah. where people are super disconnected, the gaming world is actually pretty great at helping people make friends and create communities. I'll say as well that there are apparently a bunch of other measurable benefits to playing games, like improvements to cognitive functioning. You know, like, uh, fucking hand-eye coordination or whatever the fuck that's called is also like, you know, like, with controllers and, like, keyboards and, like, time-sensitive fucking things, you know? Uh, hi. Eye hand coordination is, is very important. Why do you have mugging on your head, Lord? What's the lore? <laughs> yes. Problem solving, impulse control, and so on and so forth, but I don't want to get into it, so uh, I don't know. I guess I'll link some of these in the description and you can read them in your own time. There are definitely way more things to add about this specific topic, but the one that I want to leave you with, the last song that's that cucumber, here, hi, is that I definitely think that there is an online trend where people can't stand to see men doing things that make them happy. Men have video games and sports. What do women have? <laughs> I actually see. Eh. Eh. I see this eh. a lot on Twitter, but with relation to women, where people will post a video of women just doing something fun and silly and goofy and enjoying themselves, and then this onslaught of comments and responses are mad that the women are having fun. I see that eh. a lot here with this issue, and I absolutely hate it when people do it to both of the sexes. Just shh. Let people Literally. enjoy things. Personally, Literally! I'm really glad that gaming has become such a positive outlet for so many people. And as far as unattractive interests go, I think it's worth remembering that when it comes to hobbies and relationships, any hobby can become an obstacle, much in the same way that it can also be an asset. If you enjoy something or have a hobby or have a special interest that gets in between you and somebody else, or it is an all-consuming thing that pushes everybody out of your life, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a problem. But yeah, you can take but that's not too gaming specific. Thing that you love and share it with somebody else in an engaging way, or in a way for yourself that passes time but doesn't fill it, I think that's really positive, and honestly, I think that's really all any of us actually want. In the end, mm -hmm. if gaming is a thing that you can share with your wife or girlfriend, a thing that you can use to decompress, or even something that has helped you build a really strong community with friendships and positive experiences, no woman in their right mind would consider that a yep. problem. And if yep. they do, I think that says much more about that about woman, the woman than the gamer himself. 100%. Now, on that note, and before based. I open the floor to based. all of you, this is just a reminder to check out my new Best. Quora using the link in the description. I unironically love this honey, so I'm really excited about this sponsorship, and I hope you guys love it as well if you decide to give it a crack. Now, I open the floor to all of you. What do you all think? Is gaming, in fact, unattractive? Are oh yeah, 100%. Just think bro, bro, oh my god, it's, oh.
I, oh, I hate gamers. I hate gamers so much, chat. Oh, gamers. Oh, hi, Exigon. <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested. I'm not about this. This is terrible. Are you a guy who thinks it's unattractive and terrible? Are you somebody who really likes gaming and- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Women shouldn't play video games. <gasps> Women should only make sandwiches. likes to share that with your loved ones are you somebody who maybe is on the addiction side of things and you can see how bad and damaging all of this can be do you think that the commentary around gaming is fair is it unfair and what do you generally make of this issue overall as always if you have made it this far in the video congratulations Hi. i always Yay! like having you along for the full ride do I get a cookie? if you are new here and you would like to see more of me and more of this kind of content feel i like free that to video subscribe to the channel as well as leaving this video I like this like video. Comment because I Thanks do for read suggesting this. I really like hearing your feedback and you guys make me laugh. Of course, if you have any video suggestions or video ideas, feel free to let me know because I do have a running list of those. And as always, I will see you wonderful pretty people in the next video. Yeah! We are wonderful pretty people! Yay! Well, I think I've said everything I wanted to say, so thanks for watching YouTube, and this will be that.